We've now looked at most of the methods of the list type in Python, but there is another method that we haven't taken a look at yet, which is the pop method. So uh, if you're familiar with data structures like a stack data structure or a queue data structure, uh, a stack is a last in first out data structure, a queue is a first in first out data structure, you can actually implement those types of data structures using the methods that I've shown you so far and the pop method that I'm about to demonstrate for you as well. So if for example I were to create a uh, stack uh, variable which is just an empty list I can go ahead and start appending items to that list so let's say I append red now at this point red is the top of the stack if we're maintaining the list as a um, last in first out data structure so we can go ahead and see what the stack contains at the moment and let's add another item so at this point we'll add green and if we evaluate the stack again green is at the end of the list so so far we're adding to the end only if we then remove from the end that would be the top element of the stack and the, the last item I added green would be the first item I remove so we can use the pop method that way uh, so popping the stack gives me green popping the stack gives me red at this point the stack is empty but if I were to try to pop the stack again you can see that I get an exception in that case an index error indicating that I tried to pop from an empty list which is not allowed and therefore you get the exception in that particular case so uh, as you saw here you can certainly mimic the concept of a stack data structure and it would be easy to do something similar to mimic a uh, queue data structure as well mm -hmm.